Hey guys, and welcome to your daily mobility flow. Grab a foam roller or a PVC pipe because we're gonna smash those quads today. We're actually gonna start with your IT bands. I'm a big fan of IT band breakups before uh, getting into the quads and it actually kind of flows pretty smoothly on the way there. So you're gonna want one leg straight out right underneath that bone that feels like it's at the top of your leg. Other foot's gonna go in front like this. Let me back up just a touch, just in case. And I'm gonna just relax my bottom leg. I'm gonna use my arms to hold myself upright and use my foot to balance and to hold myself up. Good English, Seth. Great job, you're crushing it, you got this. And we're just gonna start to roll down to the top of the knee. Just kind of slide and slide back, okay? We'll get like four or five passes here on that IT band. Don't rush. Creating a pressure wave is a really important part of this. And we want that wave to pass down your leg. You don't want to just go up, down, up, down, up, down and call it a day. I think there's my, well, no, I've worn shoes at least once before. All right, we're gonna start to turn and we're gonna go for this outside of your quad. So we went IT band on the side, outside the quad next. So I'm just gonna kind of leave my toes turned down. Same motion. And I'm just gonna work that outside line of the quad. I actually just, this is my work attire, actually. All right, let's roll. You can drop this knee down to the ground if you can. And we're gonna go middle of the quad. Okay, so mid quad, same kind of thing. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Something about the change of, like, I don't know, this knee being down and the arching of my back just always really, really clicks. And then finally, we're gonna kind of turn the inside of the leg. You almost wanna pivot a little bit on the foam roller. Let's see if I can actually change angles a touch. This is probably better. So I'm here. I'm actually gonna pivot my body a little bit so that I can kind of drag the inside of my quad up and down. And I really hope I'm still in the frame right now. I feel like I should probably be further back, but oh well. All right, and now we're gonna switch. So, whew, my arms are tired already. Nobody told me I was gonna have to work today. We're gonna go leg straight out in front. In front, what? That's, no, that's not the front, Seth. Leg straight out to your bottom, your side. Got the hands and the foot for support, kind of three contacts. Nice and smooth, let's break up that. IT band, Ilio. Oh. If you're making funny sounds, don't judge yourself. All right, we got things to do. We got mobility to get. Oh, yeah. Okay, this quad's gonna be a little smoky. So let's go outside of the quad. Get those long kind of corner passes. Then we'll kind of knee down. Mid quad. Oh, why is my left one so much worse than my right one? And then finally, we'll kind of pivot. Pivot a little bit on the PVC pipe or on your foam roller and kind of stretch out for that inside quad. Okay. Nextly, not lastly, but nextly, we're gonna put that away and we're gonna stretch out your quads for a minute. 
And we're gonna start with like a lunge in our kind of modified couch stretch position. Foot to your hand. And they're gonna drop the hips forward. Should do a better job of facing the camera, but I try to give like the angle that might be the most helpful to see. So hips in, and I'm adding this pressure of that quad. My quads feel crazy looser already. I mean, I do this stuff fairly often. So I have a pretty good feeling for like what normal is for me, or like baseline which I think is really important. I really think you should spend time kind of learning your body and positions and stuff. <sighs> Make that sound real good, don't I? Positions and stuff. You should spend time like learning what's normal for you. Even if you want normal to be better or to be looser or whatever, you should learn like what you're really capable of and what kind of your baseline is. That way, if it changes, better or worse, you'll know. All right, switch sides. Foot up. I think we just did this the other day, but yeah, this one's way tighter. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. Lefty's not having it today. I missed my first scheduled video ever this week. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. I'm sorry, had some technical difficulties that, uh, you know, just couldn't do anything about. Some things are just out of your control. And when you're shooting from your home in your fake office, office, sometimes things just don't go right. And that was Sunday night for me did not go right. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna tie those quads together and we're gonna work on your uh, reclining hero. So feet underneath you, knees slightly turned out. I like my feet to legitimately touch, I like my toes to touch. This is a little harder with shoes on, I think, but we'll be all right. And then we're just gonna work back. This, you know, you may only get to hands back but if you do i want you to try to push your hips up that'll give you a little extra stretch in your hip flexors or knees and then squeeze your butt and that'll help your stretch or lay back and you can do the same thing here if you want squeeze your butt and since your glutes are a hip extender your hip flexors the opposite of extension will stretch when you extend the hip because what they do is shorten and flex the hip. So if you turn your hips on, your glutes on, I should say, you'll feel an extra little stretch. You can kind of work through that a little bit if you want, or even shift kind of side to side, driving one hip up to the ceiling and then switching. And you can do this from any position in reclining hero. It does not have to just be all the way down like this. You can be all the way up here and kind of drive this hip up and catch these stretches to start working on your positions. Either way, let's go ahead and start working your way out of reclining hero. Take your time. Whenever you stretch to this extent, your muscles essentially turn off. You have these things called Golgi tendon organs that resist muscle stretching that actually help you perform better. It's what make your muscles kind of elastic in a way. Um, it's that stretch shorten cycle that like helps you perform better. Um, and when you stretch for that long, that intensely, you kind of turn them off. So it's actually a little bit bad for sports performance to over static stretch right beforehand because you'll literally produce less power. But in terms of having good correct and adequate mobility. It's like, we still need to stretch. We still need to get looser. We still need to fix some problems. We just gotta be smart about when we do it, okay? That is your quad session today. That felt really short. I think it was really short, but I'm not really sure how long it was. So there's that. It's time for me to go work out. And depending on what time of day it is for you while you're watching this, maybe you should do the same thing. But either way, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I appreciate you greatly, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. We're just getting rolling. 
that made me think of that song. Roll and roll and roll. Duh, I, is that copyrighted? I don't know. Scratch it. See you guys. Later.